Drilling in pickleball is one of the best ways to take your game to the next level. But if you don't know the best drills to use, or if those drills are boring, why even bother? Today, we're going to look at drills that are fun, dynamic, and designed to help you win in game situations. Let's get into it. Welcome to High Five Pickleball, where we help you play better, win more, and make the most of your time on the court. My name is Adam Richards, and today we're covering five drills that can help take your game to the next level. My goals for most drill sessions are to get repetitions, to use sound mechanics, and to get comfortable with challenging shots so that I can learn how to stay calm under pressure during game time. And that's what these drills are ultimately designed to do, help you during game time. In this sequence, we will work on the full range of shots, and I've also added gamified variations or extra challenges to keep things interesting. But before we do that, I'd like to give you a free gift. It's called the Path to Better Pickleball. This is a free 30-day challenge focused on the 10 important skills every player needs to know. After signing up, you get a free downloadable skills guide and 10 step-by-step -step videos sent straight to your inbox every few days. Over a thousand pickleballers have joined and I've gotten some really positive feedback on their experience. So if you'd like to improve your game, sign up by clicking the link in the description. This first drill is what I like to call DDP, which stands for dink dink play. It's a fun way to work on hitting unattackable dinks and staying patient. You will start with two cooperative dinks and then the point is live. Start out across the court from your opponent and play to seven by rally scoring. After someone gets to seven points, you can switch to the odd side for backhand dinks and then switch again to forehand. If you'd like to add an extra challenge, you can take away points for unforced errors. The second drill is a cooperative volley. This is a good drill for conditioning your hand speed and learning how to see fastballs come off of your opponent's paddle. This helps you with blocks, resets, and counters. This is a cooperative drill, so you're trying to keep the ball in the air and speed it up over time. If you'd like to add an extra challenge, you can both step into the kitchen and volley and then step back out. This third drill is a cooperative drill with a ton of applications for real games. On one side, you have a person speeding up the ball, and on the other side, someone is resetting or countering the ball. It starts with a normal dink, then a second dink that is cooperative and high, that is followed by an attack, and then finally a reset or a counter. With this drill, the attacker is working on speed ups from high bounces, and the other person is working on reading the shot off the paddle and resetting the fastball or counterattacking. A gamified version of this drill is called cat and mouse. Basically, you both hit cooperative dinks until someone speeds up the ball. From there, you either choose to let the ball go, counter the ball, or reset. This is also a good way to practice hitting bait balls and working on your counter attacks. Drill number four is called beat the feet. This drill is incredibly helpful if you're having trouble with the transition zone. One person stands a few feet inside the baseline while the other person attacks down at your feet from the non-volley zone. The reset player is trying to hit unattackable shots that bounce inside the kitchen. A gamified version of this is playing out the point. The person in the transition zone is trying to make their way up to the kitchen to play out the point while the person at the net is trying to keep you back. The first shot is normally cooperative, but then you play out the point from there. In this gamified version, player A is trying to get to seven points, while player B is trying to score 11 points. Drill number five, this is a drill that has a ton of application for games. This is basically a way to work on the first five to seven shots of any point. But the focus here is on deep serves, deep returns, unattackable drops, and pressure fourth shots. 
If you'd like to gamify this drill, simply put a marker about two to three feet from the baseline on both sides. And then for every serve and return that makes it past the marker, that equals one point. There's also a bonus point that can be scored if your third shot drop lands in the kitchen or if you're on the other side and you can take that third shot drop out of the air on your fourth. You can keep score like a game of cornhole just to keep it interesting. So to recap here, these are five drills that are meant to help you with the important shots that you will use in game time situations. But they're also meant to be fun so you can come back to them over and over and over again. What are your favorite drills? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you learned something new or if you enjoyed this content, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from High Five Pickleball. Thanks for watching.